Here we're going to tie a EP tarantula crab. Uses the new EP tarantula brush. First thing that we're going to do is add a pair of heavy lead eyes to the front of the, the crab here. I use a large pair of black brass eyes. But you could also use just plain lead eyes or painted lead eyes, whatever you like the looks of. And once you have those in there nice and secure, I'm going to take our thread to the back of the hook. And we're going to take three, four pieces of mini grizzly marabou. And we're going to align these pieces so that the tips are as even as we can get them. There we go. And we're going to tie in a tail that's about the length of the shank of the hook. So I just kind of roughly measure it out, do a nice loose wrap over it, and crank them down. Then you could trim out the excess, lock it down nice and tight. Now I like to add crab eyes or to my flies, some black mono eyes. I'm just going to take a couple here and I put them <clears throat> inside my hackle pliers. I'm going to bend them so that I get a 90 degree angle here. And I'll kind of crimp that mono just a little bit. Once I've got them crimped, I'm going to tie these in. And I tied these about, you know, I tied these in a little bit too long, so I'm going to rebend them here. I want them to be about half of the, the length of the tail. I made those just a little bit too long, so I'm going to put them back in my hackle pliers here and bend them once more. And that should do it. Now when I tie these in, I want to tie them in on the side, and I want the bend to be kicking them off to the side. That little crimp will help kick them out to the side. You can use your thread to help you if you need to force them into place. Then you could wrap your mono forward. You can double it back over if it makes you feel better so they don't pull out. Then you could trim it out of there. And you can crimp these a little bit more if they still don't want to kick out to the side. There we go. Now we're ready to tie in the EP brush. I'm going to use just a tan colored EP brush. Uh, you want to make sure you use the one inch wide EP brush for uh, this fly. This is the wider version of it. And we're just going to tie this in right at the, the back of the fly here. Take our thread forward all the way to right behind those lead eyes. And then we're just going to take this EP brush. And we're just going to wrap a body with it. Each wrap, I'll just kind of gently stroke the fibers back. And I'm going to make these wraps very close together. I want this to be a very, very dense body. So I'm going to put one wrap literally right in front of the other as dense as possible and you'll see why we're doing that here in a minute and I can usually get about a half a brush per crab 
Once I've got as many wraps as I can fit in there, I'm going to take my thread and just capture the, the brush. Give it a few tight wraps. Then you can trim out the brush. I'd use a old pair of scissors or a bum pair of scissors you have laying around because this is wire that you're cutting. There we go. So if you have an old pair just sitting, that's definitely better than using a nice expensive brand new pair. Then I'm just going to take my thread and lay down some nice tight wraps to finish it. kind of cleaning everything up here. I'm going to take my thread right to the eye. At this point, I'm just going to whip finish real quick, but I'm going to leave it there. Now what we're going to do is just take a brush and just brush out the body here. Make sure there's no trapped fibers. Really stand it up. There we go. Now we're ready to trim the body. I'm going to get a nice long pair of scissors, either a piece of hair scissor or a pair of hair scissors or long all-purpose scissors. I'm going to trim the top of the fly first. Nice and flat. I'm going to trim the bottom of the fly. Also nice and flat. I'm going to trim the sides of the crab. I'm going to trim them at an angle, just like that. Let's see how it goes from narrow to thick as I go back. That's the look I'm going for, and I try to match that here on the, the other side. And the little micro legs that are in this dubbing brush will give the fly a little bit of added movement when you're stripping it. It's a really unique look to this fly. And you're pretty much done. The last thing I like to do to add to my crabs is I like to take a piece of monofilament and add a weed guard. This fly is fished on the bottom so Having a weed guard is fairly important. All I'm going to do is just take that weed guard, put each leg of the loop on one side, and then I'm just going to take it, wrap over the top of it and under the eye. I'm just going to lay down about five, six wraps. And I left that loop standing up. All I can do now is just pull the material down crank down a few more wraps and I'll wrap in right behind the mono to prop it prop it up keep it from laying back then you can trim it trim it just a little bit longer than the point of the hook then you can whip finish to finish the fly And I like to add a little bit of super glue to my fly to keep it from falling apart. All I'm going to do is just add some super glue to the weed guard to underneath the eyes. Fairly generous. And then right on top of the eyes as well. You can be fairly generous with it. And that's all there is to a simple, super simple. EP crab, a lot easier than stacking the EP fibers. This uh, brush makes it so easy that a caveman can do it. It's that easy. Just wrap it on, stand up the fibers, and then trim, trim the extra fibers. So very, very easy to deal with, and you can crank them out uh, really, really quick. And you can get all the materials for this fly at intheriffle.com.